Hi beautiful, check out what I have in my possession already. The new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Eyeshadow Palette. I cannot wait to play with this one, show you swatches. We're going to create a couple of looks in today's video. So without further ado, I cannot wait to jump right into it. So let's go ahead and get started. If by the end of today's video you're interested in purchasing this palette, I have it linked for you right here on the screen. And you can also check out the link down below in the description box of this video. But don't jump your guns quite yet. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Let's create a couple of looks and see whether or not this palette is worth it. This palette is the exact same size as his previous ethereal palette. There is a slight change in packaging though. This is fully plastic and the original or first ethereal palette he launched is actually metal. They sound the same but this feels cold to the touch and the plastic one doesn't so there is a slight difference there but other than that size wise they are the exact same and each individual eyeshadow also has the same exact size. This palette is made in the USA, assembled in the Dominican Republic and it claims to have a 12 month shelf life. I've had my ethereal palette for two years now so it should be expired and it works just fine. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and open the new one together. Check it out right there. Here is what it looks like. For the looks of it, there are four sparklier shimmer shades in this palette. This up here looks to be a satin. This one's not quite fully matte. It has a bit of a sheen to it, but mostly it is matte. And then the rest of the shades do look pretty matte looking. If you want to see a side by side of this one versus the first ethereal palette, since I have it right here, let me just go ahead and show you what that would look like. As you can see, the original ethereal palette is a bit more on the romantic, warm side. And this one it leans a lot more cool toned. It's described as an iconic moonlight inspired palette with 12 universal shades neutral shades in four finishes to create the most versatile ethereal looks yet and it retails for $68 here in the US. I heard in Canada it's like 90 or 92 or something like that. So $68. Let me just take one last look at it looking pristine and new and let's go ahead and start swatching. <laughs> Here's the first row of shades on my fingers. This shade is EM1, EM2, EM3, and EM4, which is that satin looking shimmer, gunmetal looking shade. Here's row number two, which has two super metallic glittery looking shades. So let's go ahead and swatch them. Here is EM5, EM6, EM6. Seven and EM8. Take a look right there. And here is the fourth row. I have been waiting to swatch that blue. So far it looks nice and intense and so does the black by the way. So here are EM9, EM10, 11. That is beautiful. And 12. Oh my god. Very impressed by the smoothness and the pigmentation of the darkest shades in the palette. That looks unreal. The swatches are so good. <laughs> so take a look right here at what the swatches look like for the entire palette. Very excited about the formulas and how good they seem to be. So I cannot wait to create a couple of eyeshadow looks with this one. Also very excited about how beautiful the ethereal shimmer shades look. You guys know I really love finely milled sparkly shades that look ethereal, hence the name of the palette on the eyes, so let's go for it. <laughs> for the first eyeshadow look, I think I want to start with this color right here. This is EM5 and this is a refer number 15 brush and I'm just going to back and forth blend that color all throughout the crease of my eye. As you can see, it looks like a cool tone beige, sort of, once you blend it out on the crease. I'm going to add a little bit more and intensify things a bit. Then with my shadow 00, I'm going to go into the brown shade, which is pretty neutral. This one isn't a cool toned shade at all. And I'm going to intensify the outer third of my eyelid with it. 
and slowly blend that into the crease shade. The mattes are very pigmented for sure. I have no complaints in that regard. They look amazing, super intense. And as you can see, they blend out really easily as well. With that same brush, I'm just going to turn it around and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line and connect back here. So pretty. Loving things so far. With my reference number 14, I'm going to go back to my transition shade and I want to simply further blend out the color underneath my eyes. There's only two slightly warmer shades in the palette. One of them is this one here, which is kind of like an underbrow highlighter or base type color. And the other one is this golden-ish looking shimmer. So we're going to put this one right in the center of my eyelid. And I'm just going to tap it on with my finger all throughout the center, just like so. I want to kind of show you the scope of the palette, so I'm going to go kind of as warm as we can on this eye, and then we'll do all cool tones plus that blue shade on this one. On the inner third of the eyelid, I'm going to, of course, use EM2. And I'm just going to... This one has like a blue iridescence to it. I'm going to tap it on the inner third and inner corner, just like so. And this is a refer number 28 brush. So pretty. Brown eyeliner to my waterline. This one is my espresso eyeliner from Laura Mercier. And so here is the first look with this palette. Now, I'm going to give you this one and I'm also going to intensify it a bit more because I also want to try the black shade, which is so pigmented. So I'm going to make it even smokier, but if you want it a little bit less smoky, you can leave it at this. So with my Shoto 00 in the black shade, just a tad bit of it, I'm going to intensify the outer third further and blend that black into my crease a bit and under the eye I grabbed very little and take a look at how much that changed the eyeshadow look already super intense super smoky so I'm going to leave it at this now this is the finished first look with this palette of course, I'll show you what it looks like once I apply some mascara and lashes. But before we do that, let's work on look number two. So for this one, I'm going to start by blending shade EM3 all throughout the crease of my eye. And I'm using a refer number 15 brush for that. Adding a little more to the outer third and blending up into my crease. From this palette, this is my favorite transition shade for sure. It's nice and cool toned. Beautiful, natural-looking, cool tone transition. I love it. Like, I could just do that in a shimmer and call it an eyeshadow look and be very happy with it. Shoto 00 from Refer and this blue color, which I'm going to tap on the outer third of my eyelid. Tap, tap, tapping it right there. And then with the tip of this brush, I'm going to start working it into my crease by doing little circles on the edge of the blue. I'm grabbing a little bit more of the blue with that same shadow brush and I'm also going to add it to the inner third of the eyelid so we can create a halo eye. If you guys have not gotten your hands on the shadow brushes from Refra yet, I'm obsessed with this Shoto 00 brush and I highly recommend that you get your hands on it because it is so versatile. Did you see how easily I blended that blue in the inner corner and the outer corner and into the crease all with the same brush? That set is worth it because every brush in there is super multifunctional, but this one is the best. It's so good. <laughs> Obsessed with the way that looks already. I'm grabbing a little bit of the EM1 right here on a refer number one, and I'm just going to add it right underneath the brow. In fact, I think I want to do that over here as well for eye look number one. Just to brighten up things a little under the brows. The blue did have a little bit of fallout down here that I'm having a tough time removing because it's so pigmented. So definitely be careful when you apply the eyeshadows because they do have a tiny bit of fallout and because they're so pigmented, it's hard to get off. <laughs> Back with EM11, which is that blue shade, I'm going to also intensify things under the eye. And right under the tear duct area, since this is a halo eye, 
I'm adding a bit of it as well. I forgot the number of this one, but this is another one of the Shoto brushes from Refer. And I'm going back with my transition color. And I'm going to diffuse the under eye area all throughout. I'm in between these two shades for the center of the eyelid. Actually, it's going to be this one, which was EM10 right here. So I'm just going to grab it with my finger and add it right through the center of my halo eye. Also right under here in the center, just like so, tapping it. And I'm also going to grab this color and add it in the center of the center for a bit more brightness right there. Also grabbing a bit of EM2 and adding it right on the inner corner, blending it in slightly. Laura Mercier eyeliner in the shade Blue Marine. And this right here is look number two. Now keep in mind, I did make two very intense, very glamorous, looking eyeshadow looks, but that's because I went for the dark shades for both of the looks. You don't have to, you can keep it on the light side as well. I just wanted to show you how deep you could go with this one. So let me go ahead and put on some mascara and lashes and show you the final results. Back with mascara and lashes on, and these right here are my finished looks. Take a look at look number one right here. And look number two, I gotta say, even though I'm not like a super fan of blue eyeshadow, it truly depends on the blue because I really, really like the way this looks. The palette I think is beautiful and I believe that the formulas are fantastic. They are super pigmented, very blendable, the shimmers are ethereal absolutely love everything in regards to like the performance of this palette whether i recommend it or not really depends on you and whether you see yourself wearing colors like these whether you see yourself wearing looks like these do remember you don't have to go as intense as i did today the palette does have plenty of lighter matte options i just chose to go for the darker mattes for both looks because i wanted to show you how far you could take it but if you eliminate the mat in the bottom row right there you can see that you can keep it pretty light as well i think the intensity of the pigmentation of the mat is fantastic the blendability is amazing evelyn learned how to scream yesterday and she's been doing it non-stop so if you guys hear her in the background i apologize she's downstairs playing do you hear that? I hope not. Anyways, my only warning with this palette would be the fallouts because the shades are so pigmented and they're very soft. And so when you do get fallout, it's hard to take off. I literally had to wipe off my concealer and redo it. So I would suggest you do your eyes first and then the rest of your complexion. And that way fallout won't be a problem for you. If you loved and enjoyed Mario's first ethereal palette, I totally think that you are going to like this one. And do remember that this is actually limited edition. I feel like a lot of brands say limited edition for a lot of things and then the palettes continue to be around. But when the first ethereal palette launched, it sold out and it was sold out for a lot of months. He, I think, brought it back at some point last year to launch it again because it had been so popular, but then it sold out again and it hasn't come back. So these are actual limited edition products. Keep that in mind. If you are interested in it, I would say go for it. Um, now rather than later. I truly hope you guys liked today's video and that you like the eyeshadow looks that I created. Let me know which look was your favorite, one or two. Two was definitely my favorite today. If you like the palette and you want to go for it, please shop using the link in the description box or the palette tagged right here on the screen. Whenever you shop from my links, it helps me out and my channel. I love you all so much. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.